Central Coast will be watching. One of the movies nominated for Best Animated Feature Film is directed and written by a Salinas native. Action News 8's Lauren Seaver had the chance to catch up with Michael Rianda while he was back in town visiting family. The Mitchells. <laughs> this is the moment Mike Rianda and his family found out he's nominated for an Oscar. We went bananas because I was so I'd so convinced myself that we weren't going to win, and uh, I was like blown away. The 37-year-old Salinas native is the director and writer of The Mitchells vs. the Machines, one of the animated feature films nominated for an Oscar this year. Who are these unstoppable warriors? We're the Mitchells, the only people who can save the world. I'm super sorry, everyone. Rianda says this nomination is truly a dream come true. It's wild. I never sort of expected this. I was My whole goal was like, if I could get paid to draw, I'll be happy. Um, so everything that happens since is like, which is wildly uh, uh, nice. Rianda grew up in Salinas, attending Palma School, then studying character animation at California Institute of the Arts. He says he knew from a young age this is what he was meant to do. I was in uh, Mr. Bridget's religion class, um, and uh, and I was drawing, and I was just thinking, I was like, what if I could just do this? <laughs> like, that would be great. But it also was just like a thing inside where I knew that was the thing. You know, that was the thing that really made me happy and that I was good at. And he succeeded. Rianda, not only a cartoonist, he's also a director and writer known for his work on the Disney Channel animated series Gravity Falls and now creating, directing, writing and co-starring in one of the most successful animated films on Netflix. Katie Mitchell embarks on a road trip with her parents and younger brother to start her first year at film school. But their plans to bond as a family get interrupted when the world's electronic devices come to life to stage an uprising. Rianda's inspiration for creating the film largely based on his own family. Every family has its challenges. We haven't had a good family picture in years because you two are always arguing. There's a big sort of like father-daughter component of it. You know, and, and even though it's sort of kind of based on my life, you know, with sort of my dad being very wonderful and supportive, but also like, I don't know about art, man. Uh, you, you gotta maybe a business degree? I don't know. Um, and, and I do think that the, a lot of people have that struggle too. Which is why he thinks so many people are connecting with this movie. The film has also received praise for its LGBTQ plus representation. Rihanna says it's really all about wanting to be seen. I'm Katie. I'm sort of a weirdo. My parents haven't figured me out yet. To be fair, it took me a while to figure myself out. The movie is filled with a lot of love, and it's really, uh, it's a movie sort of about people who feel like they're outsiders. We were trying to tell stories about real families and real people, and we have, everyone has real problems, you know, and I think it's nice for people to see that, like, oh, we're not the only ones that feel like uh, we're a mess. <laughs> because everyone feels like that. The movie has gotten great reviews, 97% from Rotten Tomatoes and 7.7 .7 from IMDb. Rihanna says a lot of its success has to do with working with producers Lord and Miller, who are known for the Lego Movie, 21 Jump Street, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which won Best Animated Feature. We had all this like first-timer energy, and we wanted to make something great, um, and we just never quit. Um, and then... And that took us so far. And then we had Chris Miller and Phil Lord who saw that and were like, these people seem like maniacs and they won't quit. Um, so let's, um, let's, you know, let's protect them. Normally when you make a movie at a studio, you don't get to do the thing you want to do. They let us do everything we wanted to do. It was wild. So far, there's no sequel in the works for this movie, but Rihanna says he owes a lot of his success to his hometown, and so he is hoping to create a film specifically about Salinas in the future. I didn't get a chance to do that in this movie, and, and I really love Salinas, and, and it has so much like character and, and so many interesting dynamics and stuff um, that I would, I would really like to do that, um, but I don't know if that'll be the next one or what will. In Salinas, Lauren Seaver, KSBW Action News 8.